someday you may run your diesel engine out of fuel or you may find that you end up with a plugged fuel filter that will run it out of fuel. The bottom line is you're going to need to bleed air that may get into the system out of the fuel system. Your diesel injection pump is great at pumping fluids, but not air. So we're going to show you how to bleed the system on this Volvo engine and just keep in mind that the procedures are very similar on virtually any diesel engine. So we're going to begin bleeding the system. If you remember back to when we went through the fuel system, we pointed out the little primer pump on this particular engine. I'm going to begin by priming, and it's just a push in and out on this. Many engines will have a lever on the bottom of the lift pump. What I'm doing now is trying to force some fuel up to the fuel injector the line is cracked and I want to continue to pump until I get all of the air exiting out up top and I see a good steady stream of diesel fuel then I'm going to close the line and seal it off okay, once you get a good steady stream of fuel pumping out or leaking out around the top of the injector immediately close off and tighten the fitting finish off by wiping down all the diesel fuel on the outside of the engine and you're done with that cylinder now in most cases if you do the cylinder that's farthest away from the injection pump the balance of the air will self-bleed from the engine. However, sometimes, particularly on larger engines with long, high-pressure fuel lines, you may find yourself having to bleed each injector or even beginning back at a point on the fuel filter and cracking lines as you go through the entire system back towards the injectors. This will vary widely from one engine to another. Generally speaking, you can get it from one bleed point at an injector.